Hello, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome to my channel. It's Sean from Sean K Beauty and this is Sean K's Beauty Bar where we grab from the bar and discuss all things beauty. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you put your questions in the comment section below. I feature one of your questions here on my segment as I grab from the beauty dish. So today's question is all about retinol and I'm happy to bring my scientific knowledge to that. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, share this video. It may help a loved one and definitely give it a thumbs up if you find it to be helpful. And for those of you who are new, um, I'm a former microbiologist and biochemist. If you have questions that I can bring my scientific knowledge to, I will. But if you need a makeup tutorial, I'm much obliged to do that too. So I took a poll and I asked, did you guys want a video, a makeup tutorial video, or did you want a video on retinol, the truth about retinol? And over 92% of you guys said that you wanted something about the truth behind retinol. And that's a lot, that's a big number. That means that a lot of people have their eyes on this golden standard ingredient. So if this is something you're interested in, I'm bringing the science, I'm bringing the insight, and I'm also bringing the side effects of using retinol. So let's get right into this video. So let's talk about what retinol is. Retinol is a synthetic derivative of vitamin A. It's a fat soluble vitamin that is found in like your sweet potatoes, eggs, and carrots. Um, the way retinol works is when you apply it to the face, whether it's a serum or a cream, it converts over to retinoic acid, which the conversion happens because of the enzymes that are on your skin. Now you can put topically retinoic acid directly to the skin, but it's a lot more abrasive and very harsh on the skin. When you put this ingredient on your face, what happens is the aging cells that will cause your skin to mature over time as you get older, it causes those cells to do the reverse. So when we age, we start to get fine lines and wrinkles and age spots and all that stuff in the forward movement of age, right? But what retinol does is it causes the reverse to happen with those aged cells. So it brings about a more youthful look to the skin by diminishing fine lines and wrinkles, getting rid of age spots, getting rid of hyperpigmentation and any kind of discoloration to the skin. And that's why it's termed the golden standard ingredient. However, even though the benefits are fantastic and it accelerates cellular activity with you getting more youthful and it produces a lot of collagen, this ingredient can be very detrimental to the skin as you use it excessively and more frequently and you start to see the adverse effects of it over time. So let's take a deep dive into that. Okay, so I'm taking you guys to the classroom, but for those of you who've been with me for a while, you know I like to describe things in a way that you can explain it to anyone else. So I make it very clear. I don't want to get anybody confused and make this complicated. So when we get into our 20s, we start to lose collagen and we lose anywhere from 1% to 1.7% as we get older. And yes, this retinol does reduce the appearance of and it does increase the blood flow um, in the skin or to the skin but I want us to look at the basal cell area of how this really works so those basal cells will actually in the lower part of the skin start to divide and as a result you get more epidermal cells those cells that migrate up to the skin surface and eventually become um, your acidic mantle or the top layer of your skin, the rooftop, um, if we can say that. So that's why I kind of highlighted those two areas because those are the areas of interest. Um, it once was difficult to get a hold of retinol products without a prescription, but there's now a booming mass market of derivatives of vitamin A available over the counter. And 
the thing we need to understand is that epidermis, the main layer on the, the top of our skin is to protect us from environmental factors, the sun, um, microbes, etc. And the more retinol you put on, the more you are compromising that barrier to be able to function properly. And this is why a lot of YouTubers and um, even my friends who are using this ask me, why is my skin feeling sensitive? Why am I experiencing peeling, flaking, and irritation? And this is why. Um, one of the main side effects of using retinol is that it makes your skin more sensitive to sunlight, um, UV rays in particular, and that's why it's important to put on SPF sunscreen on top of your moisturizer to protect you. And that's not only when you're using retinol, right? But that's all the time. However, you still want to do that even more so when you're using products um, that you're getting over the counter with retinol in it or some sort of vitamin A derivative. So we're going to go back to me talking with you guys because this is one of the things we really need to be aware of. So hopefully that wasn't too heavy for you guys and I explained it in a way in which you can understand. But even going a little bit deeper with this explanation, guys, remember the FDA does not approve any cosmetic before it goes out into the marketplace. So now we have so many companies claiming they have the most potent retinol that can get rid of this and change that. And the, the thing with this inflated claim is that any company that puts that out there that it gets rid of or it changes or in any way alters an individual, that claim is a fallacy because the FDA would have to approve that as a drug before it goes into the marketplace. Cosmetics are just that. They have to claim reduces the appearance of so to say I get rid of this with my retinol product or I change this with my retinol product, you really have to look at that with a very, what do I want to say? You have to take that with a grain of salt. Take that with a grain of salt. Um, another thing I want you guys to understand is, you know, because the cosmetic industry understands that most of the the beauty community especially ladies who are maturing in age are really looking for the next anti-aging thing they're marketing retinol left right and center and we are becoming experiments in their whole scheme of marketing Okay, and that's where we really need to be careful. You don't want to be a lab rat in somebody's experiment and not knowing what the adverse reactions are going to be. I hate to say it like that, but that is the truth. The thing is, we're using these products with other products that we don't know if they are balanced. We don't know if they synergistically work together um, and we're hearing so many people saying, well, I'm s experiencing burning, I'm sp experiencing irritation, especially when you're putting on foundation, right? Which is another product that is formulated with chemicals. So, uh, you know, we really have to be and do our due diligence when we're grabbing hold of retinol products. Now, let's, well, let's talk about this part of it too. So cells divide with the intent of growing to repair the tissue in the body. So that means that normal cells can only divide a finite number of times, um, like around, you know, 50, okay? So if you're in your 20s, 30s, and 40s, and you're using retinol products that's accelerating collagen production, accelerating cellular activity, then by the time you get to 50, you are going to deplete that healthy cell division that should be happening. So why not just wait until you get into your 50s to start using 
this product instead of trying to use it now um, in your 20s, 30s, and 40s. And I've seen a lot of women on here overusing, even in their 50s, overusing retinol. Well, here's the next retinol thing from V, and here's the next retinol thing. We've got to be very careful with overuse of retinol and the frequent use of retinol because you do hear them saying, I have flaky, I have peeling, I have dry skin. And I've done videos before where I talk about dry skin. When you start messing with the normal acidic acidity of your skin's pH, right? You're stripping away that barrier. You're compromising the microbiomes. You're using products that's taking you way alkaline when you're starting to see your skin getting super duper dry. But retinol is actually not only leaving your skin dry, but it's also making it flaky. It's also making it peel. It, it's also giving you this redness and this irritation. And that's why you really have to be careful about using this product and overusing this product and using it way too frequently. And I follow a couple of, I follow a couple of influencers on here who are mature women who talk about retinol, who, who we'll talk about retinol a lot and the using of retinol a lot. We've got to be very careful. And you know, again, my famous proverb is get information, right? Get information, get wisdom, get an understanding because in so doing kings rule and nobles declare right things. And that's not just for kings and nobles. That's meaning that without knowledge, people perish because they find themselves moving into a trend and not knowing the adverse effects of using something over time. It's like drinking. We start drinking in our 20s and partying in our 30s and in college and all this other stuff. But when we start to get 60 and 70, what we did in our youth starts to tell its toll, take its toll when we get older and tell the story when we get older. The same thing applies when we're using these skincare products that again are formulated in labs. I, I just mentioned retinol is a synthetic derivative of vitamin A. Okay, so knowledge is power right now, guys. And I, I really, if you're in your 20s, your 30s, and your 40s, you can do what you want, but I would say stay away from that. The FDA, again, is not stepping into these labs and saying you can't claim this or don't use this concentration or because they're not approving anything before it goes out into the market. So we have to do our due diligence to make sure that we are abreast of all the marketing strategies that are being thrown at us that is trying to make us feel like, oh my gosh, I need to use this now because I'm in my 20s, I'm in my 30s, I'm in my 40s, I'm, and I need to get my hands on this and I need to overuse it because it's smoothing, my, it's smoothing out my skin now and I just need to keep on using it so that when I get 60 and 70, I look like I'm 12. Well, that's not going to happen. And a lot of the times we need to realize too, to look youthful also calls for our lifestyle, what we're eating, what we're exposed to, um, as far as non-pollutants in the air, you know, all of this factors into looking younger as well. So, Hopefully this provides some clarity for you guys. Don't want to go so, so deep into retinol, but just enough that you can make the best informative decision yourself. I love you. I care about you. You're more than subscribers or a number on my, by my subscribe button. You're people on the other side of this camera that I adore, that I care about, and I would be doing you a disservice if I said that I have this information and I don't wanna share it with you. But I hope this provided clarity you get to you guys. I love you so much. If you want an alternative to using retinoids, then I would definitely say try, try peptides, try hyaluronic acid, try products with, um, vitamin C, vitamin E, even vitamin E oil, but try your hardest, especially if you're 20s, 30s, 40s, stay away from the retinols and do yourself the service of not compromising 
the healthy cell division that should be happening. So anyway, leave your comments in the comment section below. I know I'm gonna get some comments. I know it, I know it. Um, hopefully it won't be hateful ones. <laughs> I try to keep my platform really clean. Um, if you guys need me to even answer any questions that you're unclear of with this video, definitely leave it in the comment section below. But if you also have a topic that you want me to cover on Wednesday and on Friday, leave it in the comment section below. I'll be back tomorrow with more of Sean K's Beauty Bar, where we grab from the bar and discuss all things beauty. Ciao for now.